Hello, my name is Casper. I'm joined by Jürgen, and today we're gonna tell you everything you need to know about the Miriam Fat Me Pro 100 neck skate. So, Jürgen, this skate is probably one of the most visual skates I've seen in a very, very long time. Can you tell me a little bit about the design process? Which details has Miriam added to this skate? Yeah, well, Miriam, we gave her all free hand to select the colors she wants, uh, the setup she wants. So she said, okay, I want to go for a next skate and I want to go for the new Nova frame, yes. which is a 260 frame Trinity with three times 110 millimeter mounting. Uh, uh, wheelbase and she picked a really yeah standout color it's called all slick it's called iridium it's, it's called, called rainbow. Uh, rainbow whatever you want yeah. so it's really popping out and uh, even you find the color here on the cuff of the of the liner uh, everywhere so yeah really nice little details on the skate so really yeah, yeah, yeah. popping out and Is coming this out Exactly. This is one of the most visual next skates I've seen so far. And I know when we when we filmed this, the frame actually bounces off whatever surface it lands on and made the video like the promo material we shot with with Miriam look spectacular. Yeah. Um, but tell me a little bit about the Nova frame, because that's the most visually distinct difference that I see from from the yeah. Older line of next to the new one. So what's different about it? The Nova frame is our latest addition to our Trinity frame collection in Urban. Uh, it has a minimalistic classic design, so not a lot of cutouts at all. Um, you see very straight lines here everywhere. And uh, yeah, to keep it simple, to keep it the modern urban look, we call it. Like yeah. people right now, the urban skater, they are looking for a clean look. And this is yeah. uh, something we, we go for. Yeah, because this, this reminds me a lot more of a... Uh, of say an aggressive skate frame than actually a uh, like the old one with the holes and so on, which would almost remind me more of a fitness skate. Where this, right. yeah, definitely has more of an aggressive look to it. And I guess you also see like that's some aggressive skaters also transitioning over to urban, and that would make a lot of sense. Yeah, there's a lot of merge between the two uh, sports. Let's say aggressive skaters like to go faster. If you go back in history, there was a power blading. Uh, community, so that when it all started, that the mm. aggressive skater got on wheel, bigger wheels, and uh, yeah, we took it a step further with with the urban skates when we came out with 125 millimeter setups and all this. So yeah, it's the whole urban segment is also kind of mix of every sport. Like it could be fitness, it could be urban, it could be some kind of aggressive. It's yeah. all mixed in. Yeah, because I think that's the key detail as well with, with the next skate is that it is probably the most versatile skate out there, at least that I've experienced. Like I, I see a lot of our pro skaters like sending crazy gaps in these skates. Um, but at the same time, I have skated three out of my four marathons in a next skate as well. So I almost feel like it's like, who would buy this skate? Is it like a skate for everybody or what? In general, I would say it's a skate for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, for sure, urban skaters are like a rigid, solid boot. Yep. So they can do all the slides. And if you, if you do the jumps, slides, and all the tricks during the urban cruising, sometimes you fall. So yep. a sturdy hard shell will get the abuses, take it. And uh, yeah, it's exactly. not a big problem like compared to a fitness skate where you have maybe a soft upper which scratches and all this. Yeah. So, But you have also a lot of beginner skater who like to have a hard shell boot because they have the mm. more support. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I see that a lot with, with uh, now that I've sold skate for, skates for like five years, I saw that a lot with beginners coming in, getting a pair of fitness skates and their knees just buckling in under them then immediately putting them in a hard shell and that was sort of corrected. Yeah. The hard shell corrects it, but also the Trinity mounting corrects it all. Um, yeah. With the three-point mounting, you stay more balanced on the skates straight out of the, out of the box yeah. compared to other uh, normal, regular two-point mounting, for example. Yeah, also, yeah, because it's lower and you have the option of, of adjusting this. So, yeah, say you're falling inwards, you can center or you can move the... Yeah. Uh, the frame. The frame in underneath yes. your center of gravity, basically. Oh. So you can that can help correct it. Um. Something else um, here we are mm. picked up is the liner. Yes, Usually let's the, talk a little bit about that. Yeah. If I can even get it out. <laughs> Usually the next skates uh, in the 23 collection came with a reaction liner. But Miriam wanted to have a little bit more space and room inside the shell. So she picked one of our 
Skinny Boy MyFit liner. So it's a nice slim fit, mm. adding some more room inside and still, of course, heat moldable. So if you want to adjust the fitting and the performance, you can still heat mold the liner as well. Mm. We'll um, put up a video. Yeah. The liner you can see also is uh, laceable, so adding some more support um, when you go skating. Yeah, giving giving the liner like a snugger fit. Snugger fit, yeah. and yeah, you get more support if you lace up up to the top. Yeah. Also, a thing to note, uh, I think if you're if you're a beginner or looking for your first pair of um, of urban skates, the liner essentially or like the fit it feels different from a fitness skate, so it's okay that it feels tight it needs to feel probably more like a ski boot than anything right. when you go into it. And if you feel, just the little thing that I picked up, if you feel your toes hitting something, that's actually okay. This is supposed to stretch a little bit, the end of the liner. Yes, this is a dual fit liner, we call it. So we cover, because the shell is always made for two sizes. Let's yeah. say, for example, for 40, 41. Mm. So the liner is made for both sizes. So if you are in between, between 40, 41, you always will fit in. Yeah. And the material here, the SBR material, will always stretch a little bit and give you a nice, snug, tight feeling. Exactly. And over time, you'll also break in the liner and it will, it will actually get bigger after you skate it for a while. I remember yeah. buying my first pair of Next yeah. and then I skated about 50K and then I had to get another pair because they were actually became too big. Yeah. The liner also has really nice anatomical padding inside, so the, around the ankles, the Achilles, it's really nice padded, giving you a really nice heel lock, which is also um, added by, you have the top buckle, the 45 degree ratchet buckle and the lacing, so all in one, you will have a really nice snug uh, heel lock inside the boots, so you can really skate precision and with, it's really active skate. Yeah. And at the same time, I like the fact that you actually have play forwards and backwards. Yes. So it locks you in really well on the sides, but you can still lean forwards and go backwards right. um, in, this, in this particular skate. So it gives you a whole lot of freedom, but still it feels incredibly stable. Just one notice here for the wheels. We, Miriam picked 100 millimeter wheels for her skate, mm. but actually, like I said in the, in the beginning, the frame is made for a three times 110 millimeter setup. So if you want to go for bigger wheels, you can just switch the wheels to 110 if you want. Yeah, so in the addition to the liner as well, which is quite comfy, there is a, uh, a shock for the heel. So any hard impacts will, help, uh, will be absorbed by the shock inside of the do you even call that an insole? Because then we have two insoles. No, it's not an insole. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a PE sheet. We PE call sheet. It, and uh, just including the, the shock absorber. So yeah, it's, nice. a, it's a really nice urban skate for all those who are looking for a nice, nice skate standing up and uh, yeah. Yeah, to have fun. Yeah, if you, if you want to get inspired, click the promo on Jürgen's head and we'll see you for the next one. Thanks for watching.